Welcome to Solving with AWS Solutions, your deep dive into architectures built on AWS that are ready to deploy instantly in the cloud. I'm your host, Sean, and I'm joined here by fellow builder and tarot card reader, Paul. Paul's going to be talking to us about a solution that helps customers predict the future. In the next couple of minutes, we're going to be talking about the improving forecast accuracy with machine learning solution. This solution helps businesses in diverse domains produce remarkably accurate forecasts and compare them with visualization to suit their business needs. We're also lucky enough to be joined by a customer, App8, who uses this in the real world. Let's just jump into it. All right, Paul, let's just dig into it. Tell me a little bit about how this solution works. Well, Sean, our customers are telling us that the cost of over-provisioning or under-provisioning can really impact their bottom line. So having really, really good forecasts is absolutely critical for their business. I can completely understand that, especially these days. Tell me a little bit about the architecture. How did you design the solution? Sure thing. Well, let's hop over to the Improving Forecast Accuracy with Machine Learning landing page now and take a look at the solution. OK. So first things first. We want you to be able to launch this as quickly as possible. So it's available for launch in the AWS console with one click here. You just click this once, and it launches within about five minutes. Oh, that, that's great. Up and running pretty fast. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at the, uh, the architecture as well. So this solution, it really automates the process of ingesting your data, providing excellent forecast results, and then visualization for that forecast. I see. So once I've got my data, how do I predict the future with it. Sure. Well, all you have to do is you, you upload it to Amazon S3, and the solution takes care of the rest for you. So this forecasting section here, what happens as soon as you upload that file is an AWS Lambda function triggers. It validates that the configuration file that you've uploaded is uh, correct, and it will warn you via an SNS notification to your email if anything was wrong. At that point, it triggers the AWS step function, which is going to automate the entire process of generating your forecast. Wow. So it's a pretty streamlined solution. Yeah, absolutely. So the forecast is generated end to end through data ingestion, predictor creation, forecast generation. And once it's all done, you get a, an object in S3, which represents your forecast results. So I'm eager to see the output. What does the future look like? <laughs> well, let's take a look, Sean. So let's, uh, let's pretend for a second that what you've done is you've uploaded your, your configuration file, and you're ready to upload your data sets. Right to kick off your forecast. So let's pop over to the Amazon S3 management console here and just to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to switch over here to uh, browser, file browser. Yeah. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll move my files over to kick off the forecast process immediately. And the solution under the hood, as soon as I drop these files in, is going to start automating the forecast creation for us. So those files are there. And if we were to switch over to the AWS Step Functions console, we would see the Step Function running through generating the forecast right now. And if we go over to Amazon Forecast, we can already see that a data set group name matching the file, set, file name that we created actually exists here in Amazon Forecast. So as these data sets are being uploaded, you can see, oh, yep, the creation is pending. It's already starting to create your forecast for you. So this is pretty easy. You upload your input data. It has your historical values, maybe some additional metadata. And out comes a forecast. Absolutely. And a lot of our users really want to visualize those forecast results as well, which is why the solution comes with a Jupyter notebook built into it. So they can get a really good picture of what that forecast looks like. Do you want to have a look? Let's jump in. So what we're looking at here is a Jupyter notebook where developers and data scientists might go to visualize the output of a forecast. Uh, what we're looking at here is a customer who wanted to demonstrate two different what-if scenarios. What if I price a burger at $15, or what if I price a burger at $20? Which one's going to sell better? So how do we take a look? Which is, what's the answer to that question? Well, let's take a look what the data tells us here. So scrolling down here, what we can see is the two forecasts that were generated by Amazon Forecast, the first for that burger at $15 and the second for that burger at $20. What we're looking at here uh, as the dotted line is essentially the point forecast. On average, this is what we expect in the future. Right, and I see there's a few more lines here. Yeah, you can think of the shaded area as essentially a confidence interval. So that's uh, an 80% confidence interval in this, uh, in this case. So 80% of the time, we're going to expect the burger to sell this well. I see. And so depending on my own business and I'm, how sensitive I might be to overstocking or a loss of sales from understocking, I would probably be more or less aggressive with the, the forecast I choose? Exactly, yeah. And you can pick whichever quantile you need to suit your need. Oh, this is great. I'm surprised how flexible, frankly, this is to get up and running. 
a few options on which prediction I want to use. Thanks for walking me through. Next, we're going to go talk with one of our customers who uh, is using this in the wild. We're now joined by Henny Jabber, CTO and co-founder of AppAid. Henny, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Sean. So Henny, tell me a little bit about AppAid. What does it do? Oh, well, App8 empowers guests at restaurants to view their bill and pay it using their phone. Uh, we also allow restaurants to manage their digital menu, as well as offer takeout and dine-in uh, orders for guests. Okay, so you guys have features throughout the dining experience, from browsing the menu, placing the order, all the way to checkout. Yeah, and it's all touchless, so it allows the, uh, the restaurant servers to use their time more efficiently and better table turnover. Um, and the touchless solution is especially important now uh, because guests are a little bit sensitive to using pin pads for credit card and debit card payments. Oh, absolutely. And tell me a little bit how App8 is beginning to use predictive analytics. Yeah, that's an interesting question. So imagine you're, you're, you're a restaurant. You can actually predict wh how many people are going to come at a specific time to your restaurant, as well as how many menu items are going to be in demand and what are the menu items that are in demand. Uh, this will allow you to better manage your inventory, you won't have food waste, um, and have a better return on your investment. Henny, tell me a little bit how App8 uses this solution to make predictions. Yeah, well actually, interestingly enough, we started by building it in-house. Uh, it was relatively more complicated, right. it took more time to build, it took time from a data scientist, and it took time from a developer, and also time from development to keep it running. Then we found out about the AWS managed solution. It did most of the stuff that we needed with a fraction of the cost and a fraction of the time. Um, it was also interesting because we were able to run what-if scenarios that are even more important for our clients. Henny, thanks so much for being on the show and sharing your journey with us. You're welcome, Sean. This solution provides serverless automation around the Amazon Forecast service. It takes you all the way from data ingestion through to creating a forecast. That's right, and it even provides you a great way to visualize your forecast output, which can save you money. Check out this solution and many more on the AWS Solutions website. See you next time.